Hey everybody, welcome back to Mr. Anderson's Algebra 1 Lessons. Today, we're going to talk about graphing linear equations, and we're going to graph them three different ways. The first way we're going to use is by finding three ordered pairs that make this statement true. We're going to plot the points, okay? The second way we're going to do a T chart which means we're going to have to turn this guy into um, slope intercept form which is y equals mx plus b if you remember that and then the third way is we're going to um, solve this guy finding the I gotta change it there, it's going to be finding the x and y intercepts and graph it that way. So we're going to do three methods today. We're going to try to rapid fire them so you guys can get uh, quick knowledge ready for that uh, quiz you might have coming up. So the first one we're going to find three solutions. So I need to find three solutions that make this true which means I have to find an X and a Y coordinate point that makes that solution true. So I see I have four here and I have a two there so I'm just going to try and figure out number combinations that make that true. And the first thing I'm going to try is making the, the x a 0, which means I would have to make the y a 4 because 2 times 0 is 4. Or 2 times 0 is 0, excuse me. And 0 plus 4 is 4. So my first order pair is x equals 0, y equals 4. That was easy enough. The next one, let's see, what if I try 2 times 1? 2 times 1 gives me 2. And so if I had 2 plus 2, that equals 4. Okay, so that gives me an ordered pair of 1 and 2. Hey, look at that, that's easy, I already got 2 done. And then the third one, let's see here, if I had um, 0 for y, so that would mean 2 times 2 plus 0 equals 4. That would give me an ordered pair of 2 and 0. Nice. So I got those three ordered pairs. Now I have to plot them. So this one is at 0, 4. There's that guy. Then I got 1 and 2. So 1 and 2. Okay. And then the third one is 2 and 0, which is right there. Nice. So I got all three right there, and uh, now I just have to connect my dots when I graph, okay? Boom, there's my graph, sweet. Now something that I should know, or you guys should know, is that if you take a look, all of these three equations that I'm using are the same. So this graph better be the same as this graph, which better be the same as this graph. Okay, so uh, that's what I got to do. Okay, so this is three solutions. Just plugging them in and seeing if it makes it true. The next method is using a t-chart. Okay, so now the t-chart, this is your x-coordinate right there. This space is for your uh, y-coordinate, which you have to solve for. And then this space is your your solution so to speak so this is your x and your y coordinate put together that you are going to plot now over here I'm just going to do some simple math to turn this equation into y equals mx plus b I'm going to subtract the 2x to both sides and I'm going to find that my answer is y is equal to negative 2x plus 4 so there's my equation that I'm going to plug my numbers into now when I'm finding a t-chart, I like to use really small simple numbers like negative 1, 0, and 1. Super easy, plug them straight into the x, get my ordered pair. So here we go, negative 2 times negative 1 plus 4, negative 2 times negative 1, that is positive 2, right? Positive 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. So that gives me an ordered pair of negative 1 and 6. 
Now people are like, Mr. Anderson, where the heck did you get that negative one? Well, I made it up on top of my head and I used that number to plug it into the X. Okay, so the negative one's right here. I use it to plug into my X value to help me solve for my Y value. So negative one is what I chose to start with and six is the result when I plug it in. Okay, so now I'm gonna plug in zero and that looks like negative two times zero plus four. Negative two times zero is zero. Zero plus four just gives me four. So that gives me the ordered pair zero, four. Hey, look at that. I got an ordered pair that matches an ordered pair over here. Hmm, that might mean I'm on the right track to getting my graphs the same. So let's see. Last point I'm gonna plug in is one. So I got negative two times one plus four. Negative two times one is negative two. Negative two plus four is positive two. And that gives me the ordered pair one, two. Oh, dang, look at that. I got an ordered pair that matches that up too. So that means I'm on the right path because I'm gonna get the same coordinate points and I'm gonna line them up perfectly to match the graph I got over here. Okay, so let's do that. We got one and two goes right there. Zero and four goes up here. And negative one and six is way up there. Okay, so then I just connect my line and the best I can. Oop, broke the pencil. Great. There it is. Okay, so if I take a look, my two order pairs, or my two graphs are the same. So that's a good thing. Now I just need to find the last one, which I need to solve the equation by finding the x and the y intercepts. Now, here's something that you should remember. When you're solving an x intercept, y is always equal to zero. And that's the, the reason you use to help you to solve for the x. So I'm going to plug in 0 for the y, which is going to help me solve for x. So I simply just solve for x using simple algebra, and I find that x is equal to 4 over 2, which is just 2. So that gives me an x-intercept of 2 and 0. I know that the y-coordinate is 0 because that's what I use to find the x-intercept. I always know that whenever the x-intercept crosses the graph, y is equal to 0 because it's crossing at this line where y is always 0. Okay, so I'm going to plot that point up there for me, 2 and 0, which is right here. And if I'm not mistaken, I also had 2 and 0 as an ordered pair up here. So I know I'm on the right path. Now I'm going to find the y-intercept by plugging in 0 for x, which gives me that. Oh, that's a great pencil lead. Okay, so that gives me y is equal to 4 because 0 plus y is just y. y equals 4. Ordered pair of 0, 4, which is also what I found up here. Nice. So plot that point up there, 0, 4. Connect my two lines right there like this. And I got my graph. And if I zoom out, ladies and gentlemen, take a look. They all look pretty much the same. And they are the same. So this has been Mr. Anderson's Algebra 1 lessons. We learned how to graph three different ways. I hope this helps you out in any way, shape, or form. Please leave a like. Please subscribe and enjoy your day. Peace.